Hello, and happy Halloween. I'm Christy Benedictus, and welcome to my first of a two-part series on scary movies. Part one focuses on the suspense genre as a sort of primer for myself and the viewer. I want the transition into the bowels of Hera to be as painless for everyone, so I've started off light with the Disney film Hocus Pocus. The film follows the Sanderson sisters, three witches who desire eternal youth and can only obtain it by sucking the souls out of children. Talking cats, flying broom chases, bad Halloween jokes, musical numbers, this one has it all and is by no means scary. If I were to bust out the scareometer on this one, it would be at a one out of 10. Next, I watched a 1965 Roman Polanski film, Repulsion, suggested by ACMI executive director, Norm MacLeod. A thriller about a beautician gone crazy. I'm really not sure what was going on in this one. I loved it though. Super weird in all the right ways, Repulsion delves into this woman's troubled mind as she descends slowly into madness, repulsed by the world she inhabits. Four out of 10 on the scareometer, and for me, the scariest movie in part one. Jonathan Barbato suggested the 1990 classic Stephen King adaptation, Misery, starring James Caan and Kathy Bates. This is a really fun one. Bates plays Annie Wilkes, number one fan of best-selling author, Paul Sheldon, Khan's character, who finds Sheldon after he crashes his car and nurses him back to health. But Annie Wilkes is his number one fan and will never let him leave. Bates won an Oscar for her performance and she deserved it, delivering one of the most chilling performances ever. Three out of 10 on the scareometer, but check it out for Bates's performance alone. Lastly, for this segment, I watched Hannah Perlmutter's suggestion, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Setting the bar for all horror to come, Hitchcock creates one of the most unforgettable scenes, sounds, and characters of all time. The shower scene is one of the most easily recognizable scenes in movie history with the accompanying musical score perhaps more recognizable, sending chills down people's spines for the past 50 years. And Norman Bates is the classic psychopath serial killer, paving the way for Freddy, Jason, Hannibal, and all others. Four out of 10 on the scareometer, but it's a classic, so you should probably see it. That's it for part one. Next time I will delve deeper, watching films, films that were created for the purpose of scaring the viewer. I'm Krista Benedictus, see you next time.